Hey, it's Matthew McAllister here. I'm in the Gallery of Guitar Studio and I'm doing a bit of practice and I thought I would share with you all one of the little technical exercises that I'm working on today to help my left hand especially improve differences in articulation. So differences between plucking everything and slurring some of the notes. So changing up plucking and slurring. This is a totally different look um, to the gallery. Normally you see uh, performances taking place in the centre with a nice backdrop of all the different albums and guitars and things behind. But now you're actually sort of seeing a little bit behind the scenes where I do a lot of the editing for the gallery and work with the other musicians who come uh, here to record some music. Um, but like I say, today it's all about technique. So one of the little sort of fragments of an exercise I'm working on today, and I like to work like that in little sort of bite-sized chunks. So finding little technical exercises that I can do over short periods of time just to sort of enhance the fingers. I'll just play it for you and then I'll show you how I break it down. So it's quite simple and it just goes like this. Or... So I've got those two forms. Now I'm on the top E string. This could be really in any position. I've put this for just now in seventh position, so it's around a D. Okay, and I'm just using on the top E string from that high D, four, three, four, three, four, three, one, three, four. So three turns of the very top of the scale, and then one to complete it at the end. So you have the D, the C sharp, back and forth, and then B, C sharp, D. And at the moment, I'm plucking absolutely everything here. So you could use I, M, you could use M, A, I, A, P, I. I don't really mind whatever you do in the right hand, as long as you're sort of alternating. So everything's plucked just now. Now I'm going to slur the first of the groups. So the first four, three will be slurred. Now I'm going to slur the first two. Now the first three. Now I'm going to add the final group, which is this time a hammer on, and it's actually three notes. It's the B, C sharp, D. So that's really nice, that one, three, four. So we have. Okay, so when it was all plucked, Every note is pretty much the same emphasis and you're giving every note that individual articulation. When it's all slurred, a little bit harder on the left hand and it asks a lot more of it in terms of the pull off and the hammer on. And adding it sequentially like I just demonstrated is really good. So we go from all plucked to slurred on the first group, slurred on the second, slurred on the third and then slurred on the fourth to complete the sequence. Really nice exercise. Doing it at different tempos, doing it with maybe a crescendo and a decrescendo in it's really good. And of course, moving it around the guitar. I've got it in D just now, but you could put it back maybe and have it in C. And work on it from there. Um, the other thing, of course, is to change it so it's not, but it's, okay. So instead of the C sharp, when we were in D there, we actually have a, a C natural. So we would have... So that was me doing it with one, two, four instead of one, three, four. So that's working out different combinations of the right hand. So you're actually practicing slurs with four and three, slurs with four and two, and then ending with one, three, four or one, two, four. So I'm just going to do that a few times just so you can sort of see it up close and you can see the way I'm working on it. Ideally, you want to try and keep the quality of slur the same. So not having every time you do a pull off a really different sound. You want to try and keep that sound quite consistent. So it's again, it's a, it's a good way of working on that consistency of sound in your slurred technique.
So that was it in both forms, the 134 and the 124. Have a go at it. You don't always have to do it in the high positions. You could start maybe at fifth fret or third fret. Start somewhere that you feel comfortable. Just try it a little bit and see how good it is at keeping your hand in line, keeping the posture of your hand nice and squared off against the fingerboard, and then start working on varying your articulation. Good luck. Enjoy the exercise. See you next time.